So today I was thinking, what player is going to have us Tucson, Texas fans saying, wow, where did this guy come from? This dude was an absolute gem, and I am super excited for what he could do in the future. I was looking for the guy. I was going through the roster on offense and defense, and I found one for the offense. Guys, I'm going to let you know who I'm talking about. Man, let's cue the intro. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to 713 Houston Sports. It's Mr. 713. Now, guys. I had, you know, I had an epiphany today, right, about who the X factor for the Houston Texans offense will be. Yes, I did it about Isaiah Couture, but it looks like Isaiah Couture is not going to be touching the field. So I had to think somebody else has to be the new, like the new X factor who is going to pop out and look no further than Kahali Ware, who has been lighting it up in training camp. And guys, I know what you're saying. Ruben, Darren Fells led, you know, led all tight all tight ends last season in the red zone. Hey, Akins is still there. Hey, Jordan Thomas is still there. So why are we gonna say that Kahale Warren is gonna be the Houston Texans offensive X factor when he didn't even play his rookie year? Those are all valid points. But let me ask you something. We have a brand new scheme for the Houston Texans, and that scheme is speed, right? Who do you think the fastest tight end for the Houston Texans is? It sure is it's sure not Darren Fells. It's not Akins. It's not JT. It is Kahale Waring. Who is the most athletic out of all of them? Well, maybe the tight end who played water polo, 6'5, ran a 4'6, and Kahale Waring. Kahale Waring is getting raised at training camp. He's caught three touchdowns so far. Every day, Bill O'Brien is saying he's getting better and better as he as he is learning how to play football. We've seen videos on Twitter of him just attacking the ball at the highest point, coming down two feet, just looks like an athletic monster. And that's why I think Kahale Warren fits this Houston Texan scheme. Because if you're going just based off of speed, then that is Kahale Waring. I'm sorry, but Darren Fells, Jordan Thomas cannot stretch out the field. Jordan Akins can. Don't get me wrong. I love Jordan Akins this, com- this coming season for the Houston Texans. But Kahale Waring gives you that and then some. Let's not forget, as a, he played water polo and he also played basketball. So he could win that 50-50 ball. At San Diego State, where he was, he was going deep. He was running all types of routes. He was winning the 50-50 ball. So I am excited for what Kahale Waring could be. And here's why I think he might be the X factor and and he kind of reminds me of some player he kind of reminds me of the best tight end in the in the nfl travis kelsey whoa 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 you know right so let's slow down look at what travis kelsey did his first season with the kansas city chiefs not a damn thing they were like why do we draft this guy because i think they drafted him the second or third round i'm not quite sure you know out of Cincinnati. i think it was cincinnati but you know they were like why do we draft him if he got injured you know he doesn't look like he's going to be able to make this team and now he's the best tight end in the nfl and i'm sorry but carly Warren is an athletic freak i'm not going to say he's going to be like travis kelsey but his athleticism alone is what makes him a very good chance to be one of the one of the best tight ends on our team. Do I think he's going to be starting? It is all up to him. If he goes and just balls out, then you know, then you know, then it's all systems go. Because now you have a tight end who could stretch the field, and we've never had a tight end who could stretch the field ever. And that's going back to Owen Daniels. That's going back to you know a bunch of tight ends that we've had good tight ends. None of them could stretch the field, and I think Kahale Wayne can. Now, let me just rephrase. This is just speculation. This is me just talking to you guys. This is a gut feeling that I have, but I had a very good feeling about Kahale Wayne. I think, I think he completes this Houston Texans offense in terms of speed. Now, we haven't seen him in, in, in pads. I mean, like we haven't seen him in game day. So who knows what happens there in game day, you know, when, when he goes against other competition, you know, hey, week one, the Chiefs, imagine, imagine we see Kahale Warren just start balling out, but it's going to be a, a grind for Kahale Warren, you know, he didn't play last year, a bunch, the other three tight ends have something up on him, is that they've played in the system before, they've played okay in the system before, Kahale Warren has a lot of stuff that he needs to focus on right now. And then, if he does it, then the Houston Texans have found their franchise tight end. Now, I'm super excited to see what he brings. But let me know what you guys think about Kahale Warren. Because I'm having a lot of good vibes coming from him based on what I've seen, you know, on the Houston Texans app. And and then and and what we've heard from, like, Aaron Reese, 
um, Aaron Wilson. So let me know what you guys think about Kahale wearing, guys. As always, go Texans. You guys have a blessed day.